Tonight, an arrest is made in a double murder investigation in Manatee County, where that suspect was found. And a man charged with videotaping people with hidden cameras in his condo is sentenced. One of his victims shares her story. And plans for a hotel next to the Venice airport have fallen through. Tonight, we find out what went wrong. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. We begin this evening with new developments in a double murder investigation in Manatee County. Just over an hour ago, we received word from the Manatee County Sheriff's Office that Joe Claire Juiced has been taken into custody in Denver, Colorado by the Denver Police Department. Claire Juiced is charged with murder in connection with the shooting deaths of Caleb Bowman and Kamundry Pittman. Deputies say the two were shot and killed behind a shopping plaza on Cortez Road this past Sunday. Deputies are still trying to determine what led to that shooting, but say there is a good chance it was an argument over drugs. It is not known at this time when Claire Juiced will be brought back to Manatee County. Plans to build a hotel across the street from the Venice Airport have fallen through after a breakdown in negotiations between the city and the developer. That hotel was planned to be built on the old Venice Circus Arena property owned by the Venice Municipal Airport. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez joins us now from that property with what exactly went, what exactly went wrong and what the city of Venice plans to do now. Rebecca, what can you tell us? Scott Jacqueline, well, this property behind me has been empty for the last two years, and it's not just any piece of land. It has special meaning to the city of Venice because it was once home to the historic circus arena. What was left of the Ringling Circus Arena was torn down in 2016. Since then, the city has worked to develop this land and build something that would benefit the area. We were in negotiations with a, a group uh, named Venice Realty Group. Um, they had proposed to uh, build a 116-room hotel along with uh, probably some uh, retail space. But things did not go according to plan. We worked on that for about a year to try to develop an agreement that was uh, attractive to both. We still are not in agreement on all the conditions. So unfortunately, after about 11 or 12 months of negotiations, we've terminated our discussions with them at this point. The city says the main disagreement was on how much oversight they would have on the leased 12 acre property. It is owned by the Venice Airport and was recently rezoned to a commercial general property. So we've been trying to find the right tenant that meets the expectations of the FAA, fits their guidelines, uh, produces revenue that would help stabilize the airport and otherwise would be a complement to that part of the city. So the fate of this piece of land is still up in the air, but the property has not lost all ties with its historic past. This is where the circus belongs. Like the circus, the former Ringling Trapeze performer settled in Venice in the 1960s and is the only part of the circus still on the property today. It was hard, you know, it's hard to see that it went down. But he now has a glimmer of hope that the next developer will cherish what once made Venice the place to watch the greatest show on earth. Whoever wants to get, you know, doing anything here, I think it would be nice to consider to co preserve the circus park, a little corner, what is for circus history in Venice. Officials will now be reaching out to other developers who had initially bid on this property. And if that doesn't work out, they will open it back up to the public. Live in Venice this evening, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Back to you guys. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Tonight, the iconic Colony Beach and Tennis Resort on Longboat Key is being torn down. The five-month demolition project beginning just hours ago. Four balconies ripped apart there. There are 26 buildings in all and 18 acres of property in total. The demolition comes about two months after the town of Longboat Key issued an emergency demolition permit because of safety concerns. Once the colony is torn down, the new property owner, Unicor, is hoping to start construction on a St. Regis resort and residences by this time next year. Certainly an iconic, legend, uh, legendary condo complex there that is uh, no more.
going away fast. Yeah, we'll Looks like it. Yeah. Well, uh, certainly a hot day here on the Sun Coast. That heat, de heat index did not make it any better. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Thanks, Jack. And it's still there too. 100 degrees. That's what it feels like right now when you factor in the relative humidity, which is at 70 percent. The temperature not too bad at 88 degrees, but it's at high dew point that's really causing the issues. A 90 in Tallahassee right now. It's 83 in Jacksonville, 81 in Orlando with some rain nearby in Orlando and 86. Now reported in Miami, a bit hotter in Key West. The water temperature at 87 degrees. All temperatures mid to upper 80s near the coast, low 90s when you get into Hardy and DeSoto County as well as into Highlands. And you factor in that humidity, it feels like uh, about 100 degrees everywhere across the region. And that is a result, result of that southwesterly wind. And it's not bringing much rainfall, and it hasn't as of late across the Sun Coast. We see that steady wind coming out of the south southwest at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. There have been a few isolated showers earlier this morning. Not much going on this afternoon, though. Uh, one or two showers have been popping up in northern portions of Manatee County. High pressure will eventually build in over the top of us and getting rid of this trough of low pressure. This front won't do much. It'll get hung up over the southeast and eventually fade away. Uh, I mentioned the heavier weather to the north now and into central Florida pushing off to the northeast. There have been a few showers over in northern portions of Manatee County. We could see a few more, too, over the next hour or so, just kind of popping up as a result of the energy that's still in the atmosphere with temperatures in the upper 80s and lots of humidity around. More in the forecast as a change is in store for us for the weekend. Details on that in a few minutes. Back to you. Okay, Bob, thank you. An update now on a man who allegedly videotaped people with hidden cameras in his Longboat Key condo. Today, Wayne Nat was found guilty of one count of video voyeurism and has been sentenced to one year in jail. Nat was arrested last year after a couple came forward and cameras and microphones were found in his Longboat Key home. One of Nat's victims, who was also in a relationship with him, took the stand at today's sentencing. What did you do with those videos and the pictures you took of me? What did you do with them? Am I out there for my kids, my grandkids, the neighbors, family, friends to find? Are they going to see me someday? I thought it was safe in your home, and I wasn't. Nat was also sentenced to three years of probation and will have to undergo a sexual offender evaluation. Tonight, eight people are behind bars after an undercover sting operation targeting unlicensed contractors in Manatee County. Deputies say the purpose of that sting was to find contractors working without the required contractor license and the required workers compensation insurance. The eight men arrested are between the ages of 33 and 61. They were all taken into custody on July 24th and 25th. New details tonight in the Parkland school shooting investigation. A judge is ordering the release of much of suspect Nicholas Cruz's statement. Today, the judge said most of the non-confession portions of the statement should be released in 10 days, barring any appeal by the defendant. Attorneys for Cruz wanted that entire statement suppressed, saying it would improperly influence jurors in his trial, but the judge rejected their argument. Today, a group of Sarasota motorcycle enthusiasts are riding cross country to raise awareness about youth suicide. Sarasota business owner Corey Souza and his group of 15 friends will join 75 other bikers from all over the country on a 3,000 mile eight day journey called the Ride to the 78th. Over the last three years, that ride has raised more than $350,000, all of which goes directly to charities to help educate kids on the effects of bullying. And if you or someone you know is struggling, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is there to help. You can call the number on your screen, 1-800-273-8255. Well, ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. We just saw the motorcycles there, and you had a wild ride on Wall Street today. Well, I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of strange days, but today ranks right up there, and I'll explain why in just a minute. <laughs> well, it was 1859. A guy named Charles Dickens wrote something called A Tale of Two Cities, and let me assure you, today I could have written A Tale of Two Markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up by triple digits all day long and closed at its highest level in exactly five months the highest level we've seen since February the 26th. But alas, we have something called the NASDAQ, which has been leading the market higher day after day after day. But today, not the case, down by a full 1%, and I'll explain why. Let's take a look at the figures, and uh, interesting they are. There you see the Dow up by 113 points, more than four-tenths of 1% at 25,527.07, that on volume of 992 million shares. And there's our friendly NASDAQ, down by 80 points, 1%, 
closing at 7,852.19, that on very heavy volume of 2,366,000,000 shares. And the S&P has a down arrow, down 8.5 points, three-tenths of 1% of 2,837.44. Well, Facebook set a record on Wall Street today, and let me assure you, it is not a record the company aspired to. Shares of Facebook, which announced their earnings after the close last night, fell by a whopping 19%. Revenues were down, daily usage was down, everything was down, and let me assure you the stock was down. The 19% loss means the stock's value today fell by $119 billion in one day. Yes, I said $119 billion in one day. Never before has any company even come close to that, and certainly that's the reason the NASDAQ fell so very sharply, and indeed it did. Wow, that's pretty Huge. intense. Well, some late news on Amazon for us today. And just the reverse. Amazon announced earnings of over $5 a share. Wall Street was looking for $2.50. So we'll see what tomorrow brings, but it should bring up arrows for Amazon, one right. would think. All right, thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Coming up, thousands of firefighters trying to contain wildfires across California. We'll have the latest on their efforts to battle the blaze. And Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your forecast for the upcoming weekend. Plus, why a health advisory is now in effect in Sarasota County. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. The body, it is a work of art and a powerful ally in the fight against cancer. A new approach called immunotherapy works by helping our immune system correctly identify and eradicate many types of cancer cells. Speak with your doctor and visit su2c.org slash immunotherapy to learn more. Your body might just be your greatest hope. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. Now to the latest on fast-moving wildfires out west. The most threatening right now is called the Cranston Fire, which is only about 5% contained. Over 3,000 people have been forced to leave their homes. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez shows us why authorities think the fire was intentionally set. 
The Cranston fire in Southern California burning out of control, quickly exploding in size, tearing through more than 4,700 acres and growing. Those flames destroying several homes, threatening hundreds more. We're going to try to save every house that we possibly can. Mandatory evacuation orders in place, hundreds of kids at summer camps and residents rushing to get out. And I was like, we got to go. And he looked outside and there was smoke and the ashes were coming down and it was pretty crazy. The suspected arsonist accused of starting this fire now in custody. And I'm glad they caught him when he did because he, he, he had intentions to keep going. More than six dozen other large fires now burning in the western U.S., including the Ferguson Fire, forcing Yosemite National Park to close for the first time in 28 years. And dry brush is a major factor in this, and so is the heat, with temperatures again in the triple digits. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. Now to another summer problem. Dozens have been killed after being caught up in rip tides this summer. Yesterday, beachgoers in Emerald Isle, North Carolina, came together, forming a human chain to save people in rough rip currents. Now, if you ever find yourself in one of those rip currents, the key is to stay calm and do not try to swim towards shore. Instead, swim parallel to the shore until you can escape that powerful pull. Also, make sure to always ask lifeguards if there are any rip currents and do not ignore those red warning flags. Flags. And of course, we've said before, if you feel like you need help, do not be ashamed to scream and wave for help. And we had you know? them uh, most of this week. Here we had Santos. rescues too by yeah. some of the folks out there and the guards. Uh, they always swim where there's a lifeguard. That's a key. And we have a west wind here. It's always a big issue, especially a strong west wind. That's lessening. And the rip current advisories have been lifted for us. Obviously, that's a good, mm -hmm. a good thing. 16 people have died in the state of Florida this year alone. I mean, that's uh, more than lightning. So yeah. it's, a, it's a dangerous situation. Speaking of lightning, lightning is going to be back with us too. Pretty strong over the weekend. Uh, we have uh, returned to those afternoon and evening storms coming our way. Much advertised. We've been talking about it all week. Casey Key webcam still showing that west wind and the waves not as big. And so the rip currents not as much of a threat here along the west coast of Florida. Then we get a front passage uh, during the uh, winter months or fall or even spring. That's when we get them again. But uh, morning coastal showers and storms are still possible once again tomorrow morning. We've been in this pattern for what seems like all summer. And now we're going to see a chance for that continuing tomorrow. Not as many. There's a chance we'll see a few scattered showers like we saw today. Uh, some areas got some rain. Northwest Bradenton did this morning. Uh, then we'll see uh, fewer storms as a result of some drier air and high pressure building in. Uh, looks like, uh, though, we'll get more of an east to southeasterly wind, uh, maybe southerly on Saturday, becoming more southeasterly on Sunday. And that will combine with the West Coast sea breeze, which sets up those afternoon and evening thunderstorms along the West Coast of Florida. It's been windy. Had some uh, cautions on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, this is the, uh, some of the buoys out there in the Gulf of Mexico showing anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour at times. The latest one closest to us here. Uh, is at 18 miles an hour. Well, the rain is pretty sparse across the state right now. There is a trough of low pressure that lies right across the, in the central portion of the state. That's where the storms are really developing and popping up. But notice the live sweep of the radar not showing anything around here now. But there's still a chance for some late evening showers and a few isolated thunderstorms due to the energy that's still in the atmosphere due to the day's uh, heating. Uh, showers were stronger earlier near Tampa. Those are starting to wind down now as they push off to the northeast. Other uh, showers scattered about well offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. Rainfall estimates not all that high here, much higher to the north of us where they had up to two inches. There's that swath from Palmetto through Bradenton all the way out to Anna Marie Island this morning. Future cast showing a few pop up showers here in the Gulf of Mexico moving on shore overnight. And then tomorrow morning, here it is again. The model show showers scattered about bringing some moderate rainfall and possibility of one or two lightning strikes. But what's going to happen is high pressure is going to build in from the southeast and really give us a better chance for showers and storms to pop up uh, on in through Saturday. A lot of the activity on Saturday will be inland, but there will still be some coastal storms Sunday. A little bit better chance. Tropics have been quiet, haven't they? Well, we're entering into the peak of the hurricane season. Uh, just 6% uh, usually occur in June 8 in July. 27% of the storms occur in August and September and October, a pretty big month too. The main development region still pretty chilly. In fact, the water temperatures here into the mid 70s, uh, but really heating up in the Gulf of Mexico. Look at this. These are 
little loops, uh, loop current that goes through the Gulf of Mexico and you have these little eddies that break off 90 degree temperatures here in the western portion of the, the Gulf and look at right here around Florida into the Florida Straits and off the southwest coast 90 degree water temperatures even into the northwestern Caribbean Sea and that is a possibility of rapid intensification when you get that kind of heat energy in the Gulf. Now, as far as the forecast goes, a few morning showers are possible for boaters. Winds will be out of the southwest at 15 knots, uh, picking a, uh, actually settling down 5 to 10 knots in the uh, late afternoon. Seven day forecast calls for just a slight chance for those morning showers on Friday. Better chances for scattered showers and storms on Saturday, especially inland. And then we'll see a return to those afternoon and evening storms right in and through the rest of the weekend and throughout next week. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. In first alert traffic, we're seeing a crash on 14th Street West and 57th Avenue in Bradenton. Uh, State Road 70 also showing some backups in that same area as well at this hour. Jacqueline. Thanks, Scott. In health news tonight, a health advisory now in effect in Sarasota County after pools of mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile virus. Those that tested positive were collected in unincorporated areas of Sarasota County near Venice. The area has since been treated, but health officials are still advising people to take precautions against mosquito bites. West Nile virus affects the central nervous system and can cause serious illnesses. About 80% of people who become infected with the virus will not show any symptoms. For tips on how you can protect yourself from mosquitoes, make sure to check out our article at mysuncoast.com. It's also available right on your phone on our news app. Well, if you have to go to the hospital, whether it's a checkup or a heart attack, getting your bill may be daunting. So before you stress, listen to these four ways that you can cut costs on your next hospital trip. First, before your procedure, tell the hospital you only want to be treated by in-network doctors and you want to sign off any extra costs before they happen. Then after treatment, ask for an itemized bill. It may be pages and pages of hard to read data, but becoming an educated shopper will help cut down on cost. Make sure to call your insurance company and ask why they're refusing to cover some things. Once you get those answers, call the hospital directly and be prepared to point out any errors that you found on your bill. You can also find tools to help you navigate your bill and look into financial help through Consumers Union. Coming up, a dash cam video captures a deadly semi truck crashing in Las Vegas and a little boy pulls out his sister's tooth with a Nerf gun. Those stories coming up next. You want a Maserati, but you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. How do you open tough jar lids? Do you try this one? Or this one? Or how about this one? Honey! This is the future. Shouldn't there be a robot for this by now? There is. Introducing RoboTwist, the robotic jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids. Just set it down, press the button, and watch it work. First, the RoboStrong vise locks down tight. Then the powerful twisting action unscrews the lid. RoboTwist is yours for the special introductory price of just $19.99. That's right, the robotic jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids, all for just $19.99. Whether the jar is big or small, RoboTwist 
can open them all. Supplies are limited, so don't delay. Here's how to get yours today. Call 1-800-347-1073. That's 1-800-347-1073. Or order online at buyrobotwist.com. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, please look away. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now to a new dramatic video of a deadly Nevada highway crash that was caught on camera. At first it seems like a normal stop for construction when suddenly a semi plows into a red pickup truck just missing a road worker who was holding a stop sign. The driver later telling investigators he was drowsy when he hit four vehicles from behind. There it is there. Two people were ejected and killed. The crash is still under an investigation and no charges have been filed at this time. Three, two, one. And they go. Ah. Ah. Oh my God, it came out. <laughs> Yanking out a loose tooth isn't always the easiest thing to do, but a boy in Texas celebrating after helping take his sister's tooth out with a Nerf gun. He tied one end of the line to the dart the other to his sister's tooth, and in a flash, the tooth just zoomed away and out of her mouth. Look at her excitement, though. She realizes the tooth is finally out. By the way, Nerf darts from that type of gun can travel anywhere from 30 to 35 miles an hour. Well, is there life on Mars? Thanks to a new discovery, it is looking more and more likely. A new study shows that scientists have found an underground saltwater lake 12 miles wide. Results suggest that the reservoir lies about a mile below the icy surface of the red planet's south pole. To find the water, Italian researchers analyzed radar signals over three years. So is there life in the water? That's what we got to find go. out next. There we go. We'll have next. to wait and see. Yeah. Some big discoveries out there. Well, still to come on your Suncoast News, a decision is made in a controversial debate over a phosphate mine in Manatee County. And a possible connection between bank robberies in Sarasota and Charlotte counties. Love those stories coming up. Temperatures are rising and the deals are heating up during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota. Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for just $23,999. Or save big and get the new Chrysler 300 Touring with an MSRP over $30,000 for just $21,999. That's a savings of over $8,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, fishing, or biking and hiking. Or play the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy the flavors of the Black Belt. Book your adventure at our lodges or stay in the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. It fell off the roof of my car. It fell out of my backpack. Oh, it fell off my grocery cart. I tossed it to a really clumsy friend. I tripped while chugging. My two-year-old had a temper tantrum. It bounced down two flights of stairs. No matter how you broke your smartphone, there's only one smart way to fix it. Batteries plus bulbs. I dropped it on the floor, and he stepped on it. <gasps> Schedule your repair at batteriesplus.com. ABC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. On our live stream, on mysuncoast.com, on the ABC7 My Suncoast app. Powered by the I Associates, providing sight for life. Featuring traffic maps and live radar. Dining with recipes and My Suncoast restaurant guide. Visit mysuncoast.com. Click on the Apps tab to download the ABC7 My Suncoast app for Apple and Android. At Boys and Girls Clubs, it's not just about trying new things. Tanya, come here. Learning the right steps. Two, three, four. Or making contact. It's not just about exploring the future. It's about helping them build it. It's about making the connection. It's about proving every kid and teen who enters our doors 
has what it takes. Great futures start here. In life after the military, it's our duty as veterans to have each other's back. I'm retired Colonel Greg Gatson, and it's my mission to help you get the benefits and services you've earned. If you need to file a VA claim, remember these important steps. Submit an online claim through ebenefits.va.gov. Work with an accredited veteran service organization or VSO. And if you need to attend a VA claim exam, please go. Visit this website to learn what to expect.